This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. What you just heard there was the intro solo from a song called One Great Thing by the Scottish band Big Country, featuring the late Stuart Adamson on guitar. There he is, Yamaha SG, pretty much his signature instrument back in the day. Um... Yeah, it's a great song, and uh, I think many people will recognise it, even if they weren't fans of Big Country, because it was also the um, uh, the, the music used in a long-running and very, very prominent advertising campaign for Tenants Lager. I tell you what, I'll uh, just for the for the giggles of it, I'll see if I can find uh, that uh, TV ad on YouTube and post it down in the description somewhere. It features a chap who's got the longest walk to the pub in the world. Um, um, but anyway, um, that aside, let's uh, have a little bit of a look at what's going on in the solo. Solo explanation. Okay, as ever, let's look at the chord sequence we're playing over. This is what it looks like, and this is how it sounds. <laughs> playing through those eight bars there it goes back to the a chord um, what we do here is basically we look for the the scale that fits the tonality now the tonality is the chord which is um, giving its musical center of gravity if you like uh, the chord where everything sounds resolved and finished and even though this starts on an a chord and ends up going back to an a chord after that final e you can see there in the chord sequence E major is very much the tonality here. That's the chord which gives everything its sense of safe landing. I'll just play that again and finish it on an E chord and hopefully you'll hear what I mean. Can you hear how that E sounds much more settled as, as, a, as an ending point? So it's an E major tonality. And as I say, you, you base your choice of pentatonic scale on the tonality. So we're going to be using E major pentatonic scale. Now to find a major pentatonic, a lot of people get confused by this. It's really simple. You just use your little finger to find the root note. There it is there. There's the E note at the 12th fret. And then you kind of build your pattern one pentatonic shape from that point onwards. So... <laughs> That's E major pentatonic. You could also think of it as C sharp minor because that's your minor root there of C sharp. Now, the solo uses nothing but that um, E major pentatonic throughout. Um, and it's very big on kind of hooks and motifs and kind of things that just sound catchy. Um, the main kind of meat and potatoes of the solo goes like this. <laughs> Let me get that right. That's better, like that. I got the last two notes the wrong way around. Um, but you can see how that's just coming straight out of that pattern. Like that. And there's like variations on that that you'll see. So instead, maybe sometimes of going, it'll go. So instead of, it'll go, but you know, it's basically the same thing. 
Then we go up to, um, if that's pattern one of E major pentatonic. This will be pattern two. This will be pattern three. And this will be pattern four. And there's a little part of the solo which does venture up to there, like that that goes. Like that, just for like um, a little bit in the middle of it. And then we come back down to. That part down there. Essentially, it's following what you would call an A, A, B, A format, where you play this. Then you play that again. So that's the A section twice. Then you go to the B section. And then back to the A section again. Like that. Just a simple, melodic, quite Celtic sounding. I suppose this is intentional, given that uh, Big Country were a Scottish band. Um, but just a melodic, catchy, well-played, well-executed, well-crafted solo. Um, you know, and um, one that I think really does show just how catchy and melodic you can be with simple little pentatonic licks and hooks and riffs. So why not have a go at coming up with something similar yourself? But above all, have fun with it. And there is, of course, a full tab in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with the clip of me playing the solo, that little explanation clip that you've just seen there, and a backing track to play along with. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address, and the link is in the description. It's only $3 or £2.50 a month, and you get access to all of these additional resources that go along with these YouTube videos. Thank you so much to everyone who supports me in that, or any of the other ways that are all linked downstairs in the description and that is pretty much it for today folks hope you've enjoyed the video found it useful informative and perhaps a little bit inspiring and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it don't forget the live stream 5 p.m friday uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars it's a fantastic way to kick off the weekend i would love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now